بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا الله سبحانه وتعالى created everything everyone regardless of color creed tribe design in order that to distinguish between us who would tuk- have taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal who would fear him subhanahu wa ta'ala وَهَذَا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ that it doesn't matter your shape, your look, your size, what have you but rather it matters the taqwa, the taqwa that you have in your heart subhanahu wa ta'ala created that and taqwa Allah taqwa Allah is that we fear him subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing his commandments and avoiding his prohibitions and that seems simple enough easy enough to understand that but practicing that putting into practice is something altogether different unfortunately we fall short but we strive in our various ways and the important thing is to be consistent in your ibadah and be consistent and striving to avoid the muharramat and the shubahat those things that are doubtful in aqidah and creed because that's the two ways the shaitan will come to you with shubahat and shahwa and the mu'min that's grounded on kitabillah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam If they return back to Kitab Allah, wa Sunnah Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, then they find Salama, they find safety in that, and that will help them. That will that is the Sabil Ataqwa, and it is the Sirat Mustaqim, it's the straight path. So hold on to the rope of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Kitab wa Sunnah, and don't ever let anything take you away from that. And take you away from the understanding of the Sahaba to where you go against their statements and their belief and their madhab and how they did things and their suluk and what akhlaq, their manners. But rather to Masik bi Kitab wa Sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.